All right, guys, I'm going to do another pour today. I'm going to uh, pour over that painting that I bought. I'm going to do some uh, galaxy stuff. And, of course, I'll probably have extra, so I'll be pouring some molds and stuff. But a uh, little thing I've been using that makes my life easier is I, I make it level here. I get it up high level. I block off one of these. And, hey, Siri, start a two-and-a-half-minute timer. And this works really good. Your timer is set for two minutes and 30 seconds. This is up now. If you, if you do it this, you got to be careful. If, if you don't have your uh, blade all the way in, you'll infuse way too much air. It'll be a lot of, uh, a lot of bubbles and stuff in it. So if it's less than this, I'll go ahead and use just a, a mixing stick. I'm still going to go ahead and use a mixing stick to uh, make sure I scrape my sides and my bottom. So in a few minutes, we'll go ahead and we'll start putting some tints in it. It's got some bubbles in it, but it's not horrendous. All right. All right, so I put the poly acrylic on it the other day. It really didn't do anything. It sealed it, though. So... Now I'm going to flood coat it with some stone coat. I'm really hoping this pops. I've seen other people put it on acrylic paint. It popped pretty well, so we'll see. Well, I got my mask on now because I'm starting to deal with some powders and stuff. I don't want them getting in my lungs. I got enough problems with my lungs. I got these little tasting spoons. They're really great. I'm going to make up a black glitter from Stone Coat. We'll start with one spoon and a silver. Start with one spoon. I'm going to mix it up. This is going to be my base coat for my galaxy pictures. Don't need this anymore. Oh, I broke it. Great. Okay. So I'm going to pour some of this silver metallic by Stone Coat. Pour it on both boards. I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this black metallic on both boards. Actually, black glitter and silver glitter, my bad. Some new stuff I went and got. I love black lights. I love doing ultraviolet stuff. If you saw my other video where I added some dust to an existing picture, then you know you saw what it looks like. So now I'm going to try instead of just using regular pigments and then dusting it with the, the neon, I'm going to use neon pigment and we'll see how it works. So you don't really use, you use a lot. I'm just going to put a couple of drops in here and mix that up. And if I want more, I'll put more. I'll probably add some more in there. This is Neon Nights. Neon Nights. Got it off of eBay. I mean, not eBay, uh, Amazon. Neon Nights 2-in-1 Glow Paint. Green's pretty. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, well, it's about 75 in this room right now, which is great for epoxy. Uh, like I said, it's just something new I'm trying. So we're just going to go ahead and play with it, see how it works. And uh, remember, there's never, ever a mistake. It's just happy accidents. Have fun, enjoy, and be creative.
Yeah, let's make a Nova here. Back to that in a minute. Chop rag. Damage. I'm gonna blow my bubbles out of my picture, which is really popping actually. And now I'm gonna take this and let's move some of this stuff around. Look at that glitter popping up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come back and chop this stuff too, but we just wanna see what happens when we blow this around some. And as you can see, I took my gloves off because I hate getting epoxy all over everything. Gloves are cheap enough. Get them a Harbor Freight, like five ninety nine on sale for fifty gloves or whatever. I mean, it's so worth it. Hundred. A hundred. Thank you for fifty sets. What happens? I'm gonna do some random chopping. Spread this stuff around a little bit. really don't know if I want to play with this too much. I think I'll just go around in a little bit of a circle here and try to spread it out so it looks like a Nova. And then... The beauty thing about this is that it's just like whatever you're into, you make it yours. You know, this is art. That's all there is to it. And don't tr be afraid to try different things. I'm trying to make Nova swirls here. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but we're going to try. Let's see, get some more of this. Let's see if we can. A little bit of swirl in that color. Get my little love of tie dye on. Accents in here. I feel, sound like Bob Ross now. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll put a happy little nebula right here. <laughs> oh, 
looks a little bland back there. Let's add some color. Maybe a little green up in there. Let's see what happens when we just swirl this around. We'll chop that in, see what happens. I mean, if we're gonna do it, let's do it cool. <clears throat> And we got all this white. What are we going to do with this white? Let's go over here. Maybe it'll give it like a milky way look. Who knows? Never know till you try. And it's got to have a little color to it too. So I'll add a little blue up in the middle here. It's almost like doing veins. Pretty much out of color. I'm gonna get the heat gun again and blow it around, see what happens. This work time left. A um, couple of these things are a little blotchy, so I'm gonna just chop some of those down and, uh, you know, spread it around. See how it's starting to really get stringy? This one I'm pretty good with. I just didn't like some of this. So, do that. I'm gonna. Go ahead and torch it again with the, well, torch it, heat gun it again, and uh, then we'll see what it looks like. Got all this excess going on over here, but you know what? With glue on, it kind of bends, so what are you going to do? I'll just throw some more on here. What the heck? I want to make sure that I got my edges nice and covered, so I'm just grabbing some of the stuff that's stripped off, rubbing it on. And, uh, by the way, in case you were wondering, I used their paint and primer one, had it made it purple. I did two coats, sanded in between to put my base under the board. All right, well, this is what she, they look like. And uh, they're pretty cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. My other ones are more vivid, and I think next time I'll be using regular pigments and black light pigments. But go ahead, hit the lights, baby. Look at that beautiful black light, which is really what I was shooting for. But I'd like to have it so that you got black light and color. So I think that's why next time I'll do pigment with this stuff, non-UV non and UV. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed uh, an afternoon in the lab. Like I said, I really think next time I'll be using some of the pigment with some of that so that it can look good when it's not in black light and then also looks good in black light. But I'm still very happy with those because my wife gave me permission to have a black light room. So it's on like Donkey Kong. All right, till next time, y'all be good. And oh, by the way,